Good morning, my friends, and welcome to another amazing episode of Spin the Wheel. Looks like today's Pokemon is gonna be Kyurem Black. Pretty cool choice, if I do say so myself. You know, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this series so far. You know, we've done Zamazenta, we've done Giratina, uh, we did that Shadow Rider team. We've done a bunch of really cool teams in the series. We did that really cool Groudon Stone Junior team. I really like that we have, like, the main restricted that we use, and then we have, like, the craziest support Pokemon for it. You know, we use things like Machamp and Stone Journer and all those other things, and... I'm really excited to see just how far we can take this series, so thank you guys so much for watching it. As for Kyurem Black, you know, I actually thought Kyurem Black was a pretty okay restricted in Series 8 because it was actually pretty decent in Dynamax. You know, you put Free Shock on it, that was a big physical ice type attack. It could also be used technically with like a Power Herb if you wanted to use it that way, but how do I want to use Kyurem Black? Um, I've actually been thinking about it for a little bit. Um, let's just take a look at Kirin Black stats, uh, to see, like, what it actually brings to the table. So, Kirin B, um, one cool thing about this Pokemon, uh, which is why it's absolutely not terrible, it, is it has a pretty decent Kyogre matchup. It gets things like Fusion Bolt, um, it has really, really good Dragon Ice typing, so unlike something, you know, like Palkia, for example, that, yeah, it super resists all the water attacks, it takes neutral damage from, like, the Thunders, the Hurricanes, and the Ice Beams from Kyogre. This thing resists, or it's, it's, uh... It's neutral again on the ice beams, but it resists the thunders, so it's really hard for Kyogre to like break a Kirin Black. So if we play our cards right and we go into the Kyogre matchup correctly, this Pokemon can be super, super good. But again, taking a look at its stats over here, 170 base attack. That is that is pretty significant. But if you take a look at the rest of its stats, I really like that it has a 95 base speed, which means it's going to be outspeeding a lot of restricted, notably like Kyogre, Groudon, Reshiram, Zekrom. It has 5 base speed on all of those things. So that's actually really, really good to note, is that we're a little bit faster than a lot of other things. And I actually just think we have really, really good stats. 90 base spadef, 100 base defense is really nice. And what I'm going to focus on is that 120 base special attack. A lot of people think, Kirin Black, you have to run it physical. It's Kirin Black. But I just don't really like the uh, offensive coverage it gets. Like, yeah, it gets things like Icicle Spear and Dragon Dance now, and I know that's probably what a lot of people want to see me use. But I actually think we're going to be in a much better spot going with a special Kirin Black. And to kind of showcase my example, let's just go to a damage calculator. Uh, let's plug in a Kirin. And we'll just go to a blank set, set this thing to 50. Um, let's plug in Dragon Claw. So let's just plug in Dragon Claw. And let's plug in uh, Draco or Dragon Pulse. Alright, so we can see, uh, you know, 80, 85, let's change it to an 80. So they're both the same base power, right? Um, and let's go make ourselves fight a Tyrogue. And the reason we're fighting a Tyrogue is because Tyrogue has the same base defense and special D and HP. It's 35 across the board. Um, so you can see, with no investment, with nothing changed, obviously that Dragon Claw is going to do way more than the Dragon Pulse. That's That makes a lot, of, a lot of sense. You know, 170 is a much higher base number than 120, especially if we max out these two stats here. It doesn't really matter. It just makes the numbers a lot higher. But one thing that I think is important to note about Kieran Black is that the meta does not favor physical attackers. Incineroar is one of the most popular Pokemon. Landorus is still po super popular and can outspeed us if played correctly if we're going to go a little bit bulkier. So I know for a fact we're going to be getting Intimidate spammed up the wazoo. So let's look at this, but let's add an Intimidate to this Dragon Claw to see how much damage we're dealing. As you can see now, if we assume that we're going to be Intimidated in all situations, at least one, you know, they can stack multiple Intimidates on us and just make us really sad. If we assume that we're going to be Intimidated, uh, it's... Uh, showing that our Dragon Pulse is actually a lot more damage than, uh, you know, the Dragon Claw was. Also, it makes us a great target. Like, people are going to want to burn us, intimidate spam. Um, if you guys remember my team that I actually built for Players' Cup 3, or Players' Cup 4 or 5 or whatever, they used Zekrom. One of the reasons I won is because 90% of my opponents spent most of their time intimidate spamming my Zekrom, will wisping my Zekrom. This is the exact same idea. Uh, 120 is not a bad number for a special attack stat. Like, I think Alakazam has, like, What's, what's Alakazam's base attack? Or special attack? Like, where is Alakazam? Alakazam's 135. It's almost as strong as an Alakazam. And if we make ourselves modest, you know, we'll be stronger than like a, whatever, like a timid Alakazam. A 369. Yeah, nice. Um, not 369. 187. Yeah, we're sh if we make ourselves modest, Kieran Black can be stronger than a timid Alakazam. Which like, 
that means you're strong. That's that's totally strong enough to start getting some KOs. So, and it, Cure Black actually gets really good special coverage. Things like, uh, you know, Flash Cannon, things like Earth Power. So, I actually think Special Cure in Black is going to be really, really saucy. I'm excited to use it. And uh, let's start building. So, like I said, um, I really do think Special is the way to go. I'm probably going to want to go Modest because I really need to make this stat do as much work as it can. I do think that I'm going to want to play this in like a Tailwind team. And another cool thing about Kieran Black, as opposed to like a couple other Pokemon that are really common in this meta, is it has a great matchup versus Regilecki. Um, Regilecki, Kyogre, Rillaboom, Incineroar, they don't actually do a lot to this guy. So I actually think Kieran Black can be a really, really unique and fun Pokemon to build around. Just got to watch out for those Mind Chows. Just got to watch out for those Urshifu. So we're going to be surrounding with Pokemon that complement uh, or at least can cover up for that fighting weakness. So uh, I think I think we're going to want to build it like a assault vest set is kind of how I'm looking at it. I think assault vest is much better than specs in this situation. So I'm thinking assault vest. I'll throw an assault vest on there right now. And if you guys like this series so far, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It really helps. Um, I do think something like Draco Meteor is going to be beneficial. Um, I'd like to check something. So like, let's see. I want to know if Draco Meteor can actually Oko like Landris. It's like 120s here. Uh... Dialga is what I was using before, and that's a 150, I think. And so I don't actually know, like, if Draco Meteor can KO certain threats, I might want the Draco Meteor, or I can go Dragon Pulse. I know for sure, 100%, I'm going to want to go Ice Beam. Actually, I think I'm not going to go Draco Meteor, because, like, we can kill Landorus, which is the main Pokemon that you actually want to check with that Draco Meteor with Ice Beam. Ice Beam is probably going to be the moves that we use the most. I can also talk about going Icy Wind. It would still chunk super hard. I know for a fact I'm going to want Earth Power. And let's just take a look at some of the moves this guy gets. Ancient Power, it still gets that big blizzard. It gets Flash Cannon. Oh, do I want Flash Cannon? Do I want Psychic? Ooh, these are all such cool moves. Um, weather Ball, that could be kind of saucy if I had like another weather set, like a Torkoal, and I just Weather Ball everything. Yeah, there's so many cool moves this thing gets. Um, let's see. Noble Roar. Sheer Cold. Alright, so it looks like for the most part, we're looking at, like, Dragon Pulse here. Um, I wish I got, like, Flamethrower, right? Yeah, it gets Flash Cannon. That's, like, basically all it gets. I, I don't want to be stuck not being able to hit Shedinja, and I don't really want Ancient Power. Like, I don't see a reason for this. Earth Power is great for Zacian. Ice Beam's good for most things. Dragon Pulse is good for most things. Uh, Ice Beam's really good for, like, Rilla and stuff like that. And, like I said, I don't, I'm not really feeling Flash Cannon. I don't, oh, we need Fusion Bolt. That's what it is. There we go. That's the move. Oh my, everyone's like, that's a Fusion Bolt. What are you doing? Um, Fusion Bolt's special though, right? Or it's physical? It's physical. I don't want Fusion Bolt. I don't want Fusion Bolt if I'm going to be special. Ah, oh, this is so hard. Do I just go Flash Cannon? Oh, it gets Shadow Ball. That works. Shadow Ball hits Shedinja. Shadow Ball hits Shadow Rider. I was like, we have to get a Ghost type attack. So Shadow Ball. Perfect. Do you not get Thunderbolt? Though? Just like look in. You don't get Thunderbolt. Never lucky. What was right here? Ice Beam? Perfect. Cool. That's a cool set. We'll go on and move the next mon. Um, as for the next mon, I really do think that Kieran Black has, like, weaknesses to steal. Yes. But its biggest weaknesses, other than fighting, is Fairy. We're definitely going to want a Pokemon that can not necessarily switch in a Fairy. I guess I, 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 should, I shouldn't talk about Fairies. It's Dragon that's the problem. Like, uh, yeah, we can fight other Dragons, but other Dragons can come in and just, like, end our day. So I'm going to want a Fairy type to be able to switch in, mitigate some of that damage. Um, and I'm actually thinking a really, really cool Pokemon to pair Kieran Black with in this situation, since we're going to be going with like a bulky vest set, is something like Alcremi. Um, I think Alcremi can be really, really cool. We can decorate to make it so this 120 base special attack stat is actually pretty significant. And with the rest of the mods that I kind of want to add to this team, I think Alcremi can be really, really good. Also, remember, like Alcremi makes it so, uh, you know, we have Sweet Veil and stuff like that and uh, Aurora Veil, or sorry, Aroma Veil. So I, I think it's really, really unique in this... Uh, in this exact team comp, like Encore is still super good, Taunts are still super good, and this protects our team from those things. So I think Alcremi can be very, very useful if used correctly in these situations. So Alcremi Kiram, like, that sounds super unique and super fun. I'm excited to use it. Um, as for the rest of the team, um, I am thinking that I'm going to need a Tailwind Setter. Uh, you know, if we talk about, like, the big three Tailwind Setters, we have things like uh, Whimsicott, you know, we're already using a Fairy. Uh, we have Tornadus which, like, I, I guess that's okay here. It's not, it's a fighting resist, but there is a Pokemon that's better. You know, these are the two big prankster ones. I think as the last Pokemon that kind of fits into that, uh, like, same class is not Talo. <laughs> it's gonna be Talonflame. Talonflame is gonna provide not only a fighting resist, but a steel resist for both Alcremi and Kiram. So I think we're gonna pick the Talonflame in this situation. Remember, Talonflame does get the Gale Wings ability, so it's gonna be able to boost its 
fly, uh, it's flying attacks when it's at full HP to priority status. So it's same as Tornadus and uh, Whimsicott. And what's really cool about Talonflame is it has a higher base speed than these two Pokemon. So technically, like, they can't Prankster taunt me either if I'm at full, if I want to be, like, a full speed set and use a uh, Tailwind because I'm just faster than them. So that's really, really nice. So I do think the Talonflame fits very, very well in this little core here. Um, yeah, Talonflame can get super murked by things like Regilecki, but like I talked about, um, Kyurem has a great match versus Regilecki. I kind of want to set up games to where like, cool, if I can take it the Restricted, I can leave them with like Rillaboom in Sin Regilecki because they can't break the Kyurem. It just, it just won't get broken. We won't be broken again. So let's see. We have these three. And I think the next two slots should be rounded out into maybe, uh, how would I put this? Like, we need a little bit of fake out control. We need a little bit of terrain control. So I think Rillaboom is probably going to be a good Pokemon here. Um, Rillaboom, it's it's okay. I think that Rillaboom is, is kind of required in a lot of teams. Otherwise, like, if you don't have any fake out control, and I were to just to add, like, Urshfu, Regilecki, and something else weird here, they'd be like, cool, they don't have fake out. I can do my crazy, nutty, weed combo. Um, Rillaboom stops them from just leading with that and running me over. And I really like Rillaboom because it's grassy terrain and it's grassy surge. It gives Kyurem just a little bit of sustain on those vested sets. One of my absolute favorite ways to play these vested sets is just get a little bit of sustain. And I think Rillaboom does bring that to the table while also giving me, you know, a decent lead versus Ogre without having to fully rely on the Kyurem. And uh, it gives me a little bit of like late game potential to bring games back. So Rillaboom is going to be really, really nice. After that, I do think that you should be using a Regilecki here. Um, Regilecki does have good synergy with Kyurem, being able to go for those Electro Webs and just other pivoting moves. This is one of the ways that like we can actually deal with Zacian. You know, Talonflame's great at dealing with Zacian. Um, Alcremi might be able to do something like be, be bait, I guess. But Kyurem is going to struggle with Zacian. Rillaboom's going to struggle with Zacian. Regilecki can come in. Thunderbolt, I might even want to use like... I don't think we need a spec set. Maybe we can look at some specs calcs. But like Magnet Boost at Alecki does so much damage to Zacian. We might even want to run a Sash set now that I'm thinking about it. Because like we can just get the most value out of a Sash set. So maybe a Sash set here. And uh, I think the last month, this is going to look super weird here, right? This is going to look super weird. But I think the last Mon for our team. First of all, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this team so far? Like what do you guys think? Do you guys think this team has shots? I know we're talking about Zacian being such a hard matchup. I actually think that we have the tools to beat Zacian. Like, if we set up a Tailwind, Kyurem can deal with Zacian. If we set up a Tailwind, Talonflame can deal with it. If we set up a Tailwind, we don't even need Tailwind. Lucky will trade with Zacian effectively. We two-shot them with uh, Thunderbolt. So, I think the last spot can be something that's, like, just straight up super degenerate and pray that they don't use Zacian or Xerneas. I think you guys know where we're going. It's Drago, boys and girls. It's Drago time. I think, actually, a Draco Vish would be really, really good here. But... <laughs> That's not what I'm about today. Today, we pop in the big Dragos. And the, the reason I want Reggie Drago is because I want a Pokemon that I can just lead with that, like, dumpsters everything. Like, there's a lot of leads that can't deal with, like, Talonflame Reggie Drago. Like, there's actually not in this meta. It stopped people from going further. Remember yesterday how we were saying, I'll, I'll take away this team. Um, you know how yesterday we used this team. There's a lot of fairies on this team. Um, but... You know, we said we wanted to go, like, in Sin, Porygon, and do, like, other stuff, and then bring our Shadow Rider out in the back. So there's a lot of restricted teams that want to bring out their restricteds in the back. Um, so Reggie Drago says, you can't just leave with your in Sin, I will destroy your life force. You can't just leave with your, like, soaky, weird, sticky mons like Amoongus and Sin. I will one-shot them forever. You have to bring your restricteds to beat this uh, Reggie Drago. Another cool, team, another cool thing, a lot of people are saying, like, that's a... If you, like... You could you you could have went physical cure in black. You could have had something like a defined user, like a, a Zapdos, and went coaching and all that cool stuff. I don't want to add like melodics for competitive or defined. Like I want them to bring their intimidate users. I want them to think that that is the right way to play against this team. I want them to see like yes, Insin is so good here. Like yes, I can bring all my intimidators. That's gonna be the best thing ever. That Kieran Black's not gonna stand a chance. When in reality, it's like the Lucky Drago show. And, like, Kieran Black's kind of just there to be like, hey, you're not one-shotting me. Look at you not one-shotting me. It's so nice, right? So, I do think Regidrago can be really good. I think I'm going to go with the um, Dragon Fang set with Protect. So, if they do lead, like, in Sin and we lead Talonflame, Regidrago, we can just go Protect, Protect, next turn, Tailwind, uh, you know, Dragon's Maw from there. So, now that we have our six, let's see, we have Ice Weaknesses, we have Fairy Weaknesses, we have uh, only one Fighting Weakness, which is nice. We have two... Steel weaknesses. Let's plug this into the Maryland team builder and actually see just how many weaknesses we're packing. We have a lot of ice weakness in there, but let's go to the Maryland team builder. This is a brand new Maryland team builder. It's kind of nice. 
Um, let's go Qrem Black. We have uh, Alcremi. Why am I, I? I can't believe I was actually worried about hitting Shedinja. People are probably already saying, like, that's a. You have terrible. Why do you care about hitting Shedinja? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sorry, guys. I just realized that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's go back to the team builder. Um, we have Talonflame. We have Rillaboom. And I, I like Rillaboom here because it makes a for a great switch in from Talonflame to mitigate that, uh, you know, water and electric. And the cool thing about the uh, new team builder here is they have both the Reggies. So we can put the Reggies in here. So you can see right off the, like right here, we have, oh, I put the wrong Kyurem. Ha ha. Yeah, we have two ice weaknesses. Um, but you can see like, I actually think our team's pretty balanced. Um, consider, all things considered, we have, you know, Rillaboom's weak to ice, uh, Regidor's weak to ice, Kyurem's neutral. So I, that's that's pretty good. Um, I think we had to watch out for those fighting moves. You can see on some of the types that we have like, uh, two times weaknesses to like steel um like most it's mostly just steel we have uh you know a couple pokemon that can resist it you know like being talent flame and regilecki fairy you know we have a, a resist in talent flame dragon we have a resist from uh alcremi it's an it's a nullification but for things like rock wow like this team builder showed me that i have two weaknesses to walk rock that i wasn't really thinking about um Kyurem and talent flame with no pokemon to switch in there so that is going to be a little bit problematic. I might have to use Rillaboom to soak some of that damage. So knowing that I have that weakness to rock was something I wasn't really tunneling on before, it's going to tell me that I want to probably make my Rillaboom a little bit more defense-oriented to soak some of that rock damage. Another thing is poison. I wasn't actually thinking. I'm like, yeah, I do have a couple big weaknesses to poison and no Pokemon to really switch in there. Good thing is poison is going to be a special attack so I can switch in and soak that damage with my Kira more often than not. And, uh, yeah, we're big resisted on, like, water, electric, grass. What's the best three Pokemon? Kyogre, Regilecki, Rillaboom. Like, we're really, really in a good spot here. So let's go back and, uh, start trying to figure out some movesets, start trying to figure out some EVs. And, uh, yeah, I'll figure it out from here. I do want to say that I think that Alcremi could be really, really good with a Scarf set. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Scarf Alcremi. Um, so let's just plug this thing in here. So Alcremi... Alcremi. How fast do we really get? Like, that's the real question. How fast do we actually get? Um, I'd like to be faster than Reggie Drago. Because that's the thing that I'm going to be... Um, that's the thing that I'm going to more, more often than not be passing this to. So you can see, like, a Reggie Drago. It has an 80 base speed, which is a pretty decent number. Um, we only really... I'd like to be able to outspeed Regilecki in a Tailwind. So that's where I'm kind of looking. And it looks like we'd have to be timid to do that here we'd have to be timid so we'd have to be 212 to outspeed that and so you see if we scarf our alcremi we're able to put seventy six points and we outspeed our own Reggie Drago and then if we tail one on top of that that's not right, is it? Hmm. Let's go back to this. So 94. Hmm, this is a weird calc. So 141 there. And then if we put ourselves in a tail when we go to 282, that does that does make sense. Because that does out, that does still outspeed Lecky. Cool. So we we are outspeeding Lecky if we have our choice scarf in a tailwind. So that's nice. Um we want to go 76 points here. So 76 points plus a Scarf would let us outspeed our Reggie Drago. Um, and basically, we're probably going to be able to outspeed the Kyurem as well. Because Kyurem doesn't need to outspeed Lucky, it just needs to outspeed Shadow Rider. And then we know that we uh, wanted to have 212 on our uh, Reggie Drago. 212, Timid. That kind of sucks. We have to go Timid. I'm not going to lie, it does. Uh, we're probably going to go 252 here and then 44. Is it really worth outspeeding Lucky? Like, I wonder if I even care. That's another question. Like, do I care about outspeeding a Lucky? I think that I should outspeed Lucky with this thing. Um, not that Lucky can really do that much, but I want to be able to hit the Lucky before it can do things. I think that's actually pretty important. Um, yeah, I think that that is actually going to be pretty important. So, and then again, we're probably going to be going with a Dragon Fang set. Probably something like Protect. Protect, uh, what is that? Dragon, Dragon Energy, Draco Meteor. And a lot of people like to put, like, some other weird attack here, like Ancient Power. Um, 
I, I don't know if I actually need those moves. I, I actually don't. I kind of want to put, like, white screen or some shit. You know? <laughs> Let's see. Break and swipe's not that great. Let's see. Are there any other moves we can actually put? Thunderfang's not, not worth it at all. It'd be cool if we got, like, literally anything that could hit fairies. I guess I guess we'll put Ancient Power, but we don't need to put... Oh, Crunch. Right? Is it Crunch? No, I don't, I don't need Crunch. Draco Meteor would do enough, I think. Crunch is kind of cool, though. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Crunch is kind of sick. He gets dual screens, too. That's so savage. Let's... I just want to see how much damage this Crunch does. Like, let's just put Crunch here. And let's see how much damage it does versus, like, a Shadow Rider. I just want to see. Because, like... That's... Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. Like, if we put Dragon Small, though. So, Dragon... Or, sorry. Dragon Energy... With a Fang. Dragon Fang. And then our ability is Dragon's Maw. That's the ability. And then we go 252. Set this to doubles. Make sure. Wow, that doesn't KO. Wow, that doesn't KO Shadow Rider. I would if I was timid, probably. Or sorry, not timid. If I was modest. Let's check it out. That's a much higher percent. About 50%. 43. Huh. I mean, I don't want the crunch. Crunch is still bad. I'm still fine with that, by the way. I'm still totally fine. But just, it's just knowing that stuff is uh, its pretty important to know. All right, let's see. You don't really want the Fire Fang. It's not worth it. I think the Ancient Power might be the best play just because you can finish something off that's at one and you can hit a fairy. Like, it's possible to hit the fairy, I guess. I still think there might be a better option. If you guys know better options, I, I feel like I don't really need... Um... Hmm. What if we put, like, Laser Focus? That'd be sick, right? Actually, I'm gonna go laser focus. Why don't people use this? Until the end of the next turn, the user's moves crit. So if like you're ever stuck using meteor and you're at like low HP and you read a protect and you laser focus, your next meteor will crit, which will go through your stat drops. Yeah, I I like that. That's super savage. It's like really, really cool. Um, I don't see a reason to not you do that. Um, as for this Lecky set, I think Sash is going to be good. And on a Sash Lecky set, like, yeah, we could go super, super crazy. I actually think that we just want to go something like this so we can win those Lecky speed ties late game. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I think you're going to go Sash Lecky. That's probably just the best way to do it. So Protect, uh, Volt Switch, Electro Web, and Thunderbolt. And I still like Thunderbolt over um, Electro Ball because, like, there's so many fast Pokemon in this format. Like, Electro Ball... It doesn't, like, scale high enough to ever be more value than how useful Thunderbolt is in, like, the wider variety of situations. So I like Thunderbolt. Uh, as for Rillaboom, we're already using our Vest. Um, I don't think we need Koba because we don't really have a terrible matchup versus, like, Rain and Hurricane team. So I, I think something like a Miracle Seed works. So Miracle Seed would work. Something like Fake Out. Fake Out's good. I don't know if we want U-Turn here. I think that U-Turn could be really usable, though. Being able to disguise that out Kremi coming in is very, very nice. Uh, grassy Glide for sure. Not, not Drag, Glamo. So there's the Grassy Glide. Is it weird that I kind of want to go like... A Lariat? And make ourselves like Heavy Spadef and just like... Build it kind of how people are building Bulu nowadays so we can 1v1 Shadow Riders? I don't think I need to. Or not Lariat, but I go like Knock Off or something, you know? I'm still a big fan. I mean, I'm going to put Protect here. Uh, but I was just looking at a bunch of the other moves. And as far as EVs go, I think I still want that big attack. Uh, I'm a big fan on Rilla. I'm having just a little bit of speed. Like, this is one of my favorite Rilla sets. Uh, building it just like this. Just a little bit of speed. Um, this doubles to be outspeeding Dragapult in Tailwind. So, that's kind of nice. I don't want to put the points to outspeed Shadow Rider. Just because I don't... I, I would already be able to Grassy Glide a Shadow Rider. So, it's not like it really matters that much. Um, yeah, that's good enough for me. Talonflame. This guy's going to be weird. Um, I think there's so many different ways to build this Pokemon. There are so many different ways. Um, I do think that I want to go with like a really aggressive talent flame for this team. So that's, that's like things like Flare Blitz, like this is our Zacian check. Things like, uh, I am going to use Brave Bird on this one. Um, like so big, like we're going to lose our Gale Wings easy. I think we're just going to go Protect here and Tailwind. Like this is the all-in talent flame. And I really do think I'm just going to orbit. Um, like I'm going old school. This is that old school talent flame set. Remember Gale Wings, 
It only works when you're at full. It didn't used to be like that. This Pokemon used to just be like big busted. I do think though that we don't need nearly this much uh, speed at all. We basically just need to outspeed Whimsicott, which is a 116. Let's just check Whims for a sec. It's 115 or 116, 116. So cool, we need to outspeed 184. So we gotta get to 185 on our talent flame. And, uh, and we're just doing that so we can't get taunted. Um, Cause otherwise like against pretty much everything else we'll just be able to Brave Bird them. So let's go to, it's probably like, is it 252 yet? 178. Oh, we still have to be jolly. Is that worth it? I don't think that that's worth it. They shouldn't be trying to taunt me with a Whimsicott or a Torn. But I still want to be able to outspeed those things so I can break with them if I'm not at full. So yeah, I still have to outspeed them. So I still have to be jolly. Um, but actually, let's let's do some calcs. Uh, let's go Tom Flame here. We need to make sure that we can one-shot Zacian because I only get one shot at that, you know? So let's see what like a 252 like Life Orb Fire Blitz does to Zacian. Blue flare. Alright. Okay. So let's see. Flare Blitz does 104. Alright, cool. So we can we can go jolly. Um if we're intimidated though, just throwing that out there just so we know. Does about 70. Okay, so that is good to know. Alright, so we can just go 252. Um we don't need to be 252 plus here, that we can be like 204, I think. That's 172. What was Wims again? Oh, we need to make the nature work. 189. I think Wims was 189, right? Let's go check it again. 184, so we 185. We actually take a, we actually get a lot more points in bulk. 184, huh? So we just got to get a 185. Almost there. We're, we're moving and grooving. 185. Let me just check it. It's me 180. Yeah. Yep. And then we just get to put the rest of the points up here. I feel they're pretty wasted because we're using so many recoil moves, but and a life orb. But I do, I do think that like this is still like a, a pretty decent top lane set. As for our criminal, we saw that we only need this much because we're going to be using a choice scarf, and this is going to be a weird thing. Like, do we want the sweet veil or the aroma veil? I think that the sweet veil to make it so we can't get slept by Amoongus is actually going to be probably the best one. Um, we're definitely going to want decorate here, so decorate for sure. Um, I do think that we still want Dazzling Gleam because it's great for, you know, checking things like Urshifu. Um, and remember, we are still outspeeding, like, big, full speed base 80s. Actually, let me check how much speed this Alcremie. I actually want to be able to outspeed some pretty significant things. Alright, so Alcremie here. Um, it's not enough to just outspeed Regidrago, in my opinion. I think I want to be able to outspeed base 100s because, like, Galarian Zapdos is still really big. And Galarian Zapdos and Mi Mind Shell. This is That's worth outspeeding. So Mind Shell is definitely worth outspeeding. I know it gets Wide Guard, so maybe we just put like, I don't know if Alchemy gets Moonblast, actually I don't think that it does. But it's a 105, so I'd like to be able to outspeed this. So 172 off a of plus one, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. Yo, we can. Um, and it's actually going to need the full 252 Modest uh, to do it, and that works for me. 252 Modest, 252 here. Uh, we just want to make sure that... Uh, our calcs work correctly, so like Dazzling Gleam, I'd like to be able to clock Sash with that. That's that's good enough. That's a 93% chance to KO. Oh, actually, it's uh, confirmed because we have Modest busted. Um, yeah, I like that damage. So let's see. Do you get Moonblast? I don't think you do. It gets like Draining Kiss. I don't really want that. Um, I don't think we necessarily need like Energy Ball or Giga Drain here. I think Mystical Fire is still really good for uh, like chunking a lot of stuff. Psy Shot could be usable. Do we get, like, a ghost attack? I don't think we do. I don't think we need Shadow Wall. No, we don't. It's okay. We need one more move. And remember, we are choiced. So this is going to be a really weird last move. Um, something like Fake Tears could be really good. Because I'm pairing it with, like, Kirim. But, like, remember, I could just I could just hit my Kirim with a... Uh, what is it? With a Decorate. Helping Hand's good if I know I'm going to get Fake Outed. Um, Misty Explosion. Just to like get ourselves off the board and give ourselves room. That could be usable for sure. Now we're still thinking. Metronome Lamel. Attracts not terrible in certain situations. Yeah, we're thinking. I, I'm not like terribly. I mean, I could use Psychic or Psy Shock. I think a Grass Attack would be better in that exact situation. Scarf Encore is also sometimes really, really good. Sometimes it's like super good. You never really see that one coming. Um, helping Hand is probably the best one. I think Helping Hand might be the best play. Because, like, I can Helping Hand my Aleki. Uh, I can Helping Hand my Talonflame. 
and I can get in, like it helps me play around redirection and stuff like that. So I do think that helping hand is probably the best move here. More often than not, we're just gonna be using these two attacks, fiery, fire, mystical fire, dazzling moon, and mostly the decorate. And then we just put the last four here. All right, and now for the hardest part, I would say the hardest part's probably gonna be making this Kyurem spread. Um, let's just go plug it into the damage calc here. Because like I said, I don't really want to outspeed Regilecki, but let's see how many points that would take. Remember, guys, remember Regilecki, if you guys plug it in over here, it's gonna be set to level 50 as always, 252, assuming, and Timid, so it's 277. That's the number that always hits. And if we're me using a tail one, that's a plus two, we would probably need like at least like 156. Yeah, at least. So it's looking to be like we would need 188. That's so significant to just that speed lucky. I don't like that because the next Pokemon on the tier list would be Ferramosa at a, uh, you know, a 151 base speed, which is 223. And you can see if we take all of our points out, we already outspeed that by a lot. So we already outspeed Mosa, we outspeed Shadow Rider, we already outspeed Talonflame, Inteleon, Cinderace. I actually think that, like, we don't need any points. Uh, I will put four in there to speed creep people that are, like, using Tapu Lele's, Arcanines, maybe some weird tech like that that has 95 base speed, because 95 is a pretty popular number. We don't need that much more. Um, I do want to go full HP, probably. Let's just see if we start getting... We will get those diminishing returns off that. No, we won't. We won't get it because our defense is so high. Um, that's good. So we want. We know that we want that. I think the next thing we want to start calcing is how much damage. Because I don't. I don't think that we just do this. I don't think we necessarily need that because I don't. I don't see us just like one shotting Zacian either. So let's just plug Earth Power in here, and let's go to Zacian. I'd like this to be a two shot. Um, if I could, if I may. So, like, yeah, you see right now it's not a two-shot, so we're going to want to make that a two-shot. I do think that we probably do want to go with a modest set for sure, and we want to get this to be a two-shot. So, we know that we need at least... Come on. Oh, I'm going the wrong button. Oh, I'm going the wrong way now. Oh, my gosh, I can't read. All right, so we need at least 76 to make that a two-shot with Earth Power, and I said at least. Um, let's also plug Shadow Ball in here. Just to see if the same number is uh, usable to, like, KO Shadow Rider. Where's Shadow Ball? Bam. Um, I also want to see, like, how much damage Behemoth Blade does. Let's just check. Behemoth Blade. From Zashian, bro. That's a lot of damage. Look how much damage that is. There's, like, no way in hell that we, like, mitigate that, like, at all. And we don't have any Intimidators either. So it's, like... We cannot, we will die. We are 100% dead every single time that Zashian attacks one of our Pokemon. And we just have to, we just have to be fine with that. Earth Power is a two shot. Shadow Ball is, well, we'll, we'll plug it in on the Shadow Rider right now. So we want to make sure that KOs for sure then on like a standard set like that, that just has four points. Cool. So we need a little bit more investment. All right, probably one, 100 right there. Bam, perfect. So that KO's right there. And let's go back to the Zashian just to check. Go back to the Zashian. And so let's see if this Earth Power, which is a little bit stronger now, how much it does a plus two. Hey, you know, doubles the damage. But can you see that that's how the team's set to work? Plus two from the uh, Alcremi. If we, if we play all of our cards right and we're set... We can one-shot the Zacian. Uh, it's super hard to get, but you can see the value in finding these numbers, like these calcs. Like, we're able to Oko Shadow Rider. We're able to go Zacian if we get our boost, or two-shot if they switch in on that and they attack the wrong target or something. Like, or if they switch in on it and we have a Tailwind up, like, they probably will switch in on this. If Zacian resists Ice and nullifies Dragon, like, I guarantee you we'll catch one person switching in with a Zacian. So I really do think that, like, this is a good calc. Uh, if we have Tailwind pressure up, we have it. Um... Yeah, I like this a lot. So, Earth Power, We looks like we want the uh, 124. And then we just get these, we have 128. And I'm a big person in saying that, like, a lot of the times, you always want to put, like, 60 points in a sass to throw off your opponent's calcs. I don't think anyone's calcing for this. I think our Spadef is a little bit lower, so I actually am going to put, like, every point in Spadef just to make it. So, um, our vest, like, they, like, they will, like, respect our vest. Let's actually see how much damage this mitigates from Shadow Rider here. 
So let's run some defensive calcs. All right, so 50, 252, they'll be timid for sure. And let's look at the life orb because like that's what most people use. And let's go to Astral Barrage. And we got to put our points in defense and then give ourselves an assault vest. Huh. Not, not ability anyways. So you can see that does 33%. Like, bro, that's no damage at all. That's like nothing. That you tickle. You are weak. You do nothing. And that's awesome. So I do like this set. I think it's actually kind of nice. It's going to be hard playing without... Um, it's going to be hard playing without Protect on this thing. Especially because like a lot of our Pokemon like don't have a, like that good of switch-ins. But I do think that this set and this whole team really does work. A lot of 2v2 squads today. Sorry, guys. But let's see how it works. Let's go play some games and see if we can win. Veltal. I actually think this can be a very, very good matchup for Kira. Because, like, they're going to go for those foul plays. And we're just not as strong as they think we are. We are still rocking, like, a 170 attack. Even if we're rocking, like, no attack investment. But I do think that it's, it can be a really, really good weed. I like Kira here. Uh, I don't hate Alcremia. I also think, like, something like Talonflame Drago can be very, very very optimal i think i'm actually gonna go talonflame kirim though i think talonflame kirim can be really nice uh there's the drago for sure rillaboom is decent at revenge killing things this person said julie i'll say it back oh let's see say hi youtube all right let's see though do we want the alcremi <laughs> Let's see. What do you guys think? Do you guys like Alcremi here? I actually think Alcremi is pretty dope. It's either Alcremi, Rilla, or Lucky, obviously. I think that we should be bringing Regilecki here. I'm bringing Alcremi just because it's for YouTube, right? Just for just for YouTube. I do the I do these things for you, YouTube. So, I mean, I think we could possibly get a one-shot on the Staka. Am I afraid of Staka? Like, are you trick-rooming me? Are you trick rooming me? Is that is actually just the question. Let's try it. I mean, I don't really care if they do. Yeah, there's the fake out on that slot. We don't take that. Earth power. Oh, special Zek. Special. I'm not Zekrom. I'm Kira Black. Oh, oh my gosh. And they don't know we're scarfed. <laughs> he said, LOL. Yo, special Zek. Nice intimidate. We conditioned that. Oh my gosh. Bro, this person, they better they better pop that fisher because they're gonna need it. Sub? Mm -mm, not in my house. Oh, why didn't I decorate? Did I helping hand? That sucks. I wanted to I wanted to decorate. Damn. I wanted my decorate. I thought I decorated. Oh, I'm just scarf decorate now. Ah, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Like, they were right next to each other. I thought I clicked decorate. I clicked coupling hand. Oh, uh, well. That would have been funnier. I bet I one-shot the shit. I don't I don't think I one-shot you, Veltal. If I was at, like, plus four right now, I would be. Ah, uh, that's frustrating. I'll let that Lando do that all day. I don't really care about the Lando at this point. And it's probably best to Evolve Salt. Man, I'd be plus four this turn if I clicked that decorate button last turn. Oh well. Yeah, protect, yeah, we don't we don't deal with that. Snarl? Alright, I'd be like plus three. I'm in neutral right now. Alright, we gotta switch out. Uh switch out there. So we switch out here. Do we care about all crummy? Let's see, though. We need to switch in there. We'll switch out there, and we'll just Ice Beam this Lando here. So probably switch in for Sin. Yep. And we just want to do this, because like, we'll switch out here next turn. We'll pop a... What is it? We'll pop a Tailwind, and we get to go. You don't do any damage. Yo, we be big thick. Protect one turn. Hard switch back in. Oh, Kremi. Yeah. Do I need to protect? Let me think about that. Yeah, I'll switch back in. And then we'll use, like, D-Gleam or something. I should have just used those decorates. Maybe I'll get a second shot at redemption. Helping hand. Helping hand's good, though. It plays around fake out. So, first times when you're pinned. I can't believe we one shot that stock on the first turn. That special attack investment, man. It definitely works. Regular current black intimidate would not have been able to do that. So there's the Alcremi. Fake out into that slot. That's weird. 
Okay, so I will get up a Tailwind, which basically makes uh, Reggie Drago win the game. So Tailwind's here. Um, I might as well just use... I kind of just want to use Dazzling Gleam. I think it's probably the right play, just to start chipping things, because like it makes it like it would really punish a land to switch in two. So there's a Tailwind. Sucker Punch, not going to work today. Big damage on that Yveltal. all. Parting shot into Talon Flame. Yo, I should have decorated it. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think we're still fine. Um, let's see, Brave Bird's more damage, and D Gleam. Almost getting the KO. It looks to be vested Yveltal, so we are gonna be fine here. Scarf Alcremi coming in hot, yo. Oh, and they 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 disrespect the boy. I think we just bring the Kira out. Oh, they said GG. They're not gonna let me use my my Drago in the back. Never luck, GG. Oh, they scoop. Oh, well, we take those. We take those. Cool game. Uh, I misclicked the helping hand instead of the decorate. It's my fault, but still a fun game. Okay, I can fight this. This is uh, Xerneas with Aleki Lando. Super, super standard. Multiple forms of redirection. I think this is going to be very hard to do, but I definitely think that I can. Um, let's actually think about this. Like, what is the most optimal way to beat this Xerneas? I think that they have a lot of redirectors that are using Rage Powder. So, like, Rillaboom could be really, really good here. Um, I wonder how much damage, like, Zerm would take from, like, a helping hand boosted. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead Rilla. I'm gonna lead Rilla Talon Flame. I think it's a good lead. Um, I think we definitely, actually, Rilla and Alcremi. Actually, I, I think that this might be able to work. Um, Kirim, and then, I don't know if I need Talon Flame. I'm not seeing a situation where it's, like, I need to use this Pokemon. It's required. I think Aleki might be just as valuable. I'll bring Talon Flame. There's, like, Amoongus and Volk. I'll bring it. Let's see if this works. This is going to be hard. Zern with redirection, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how this goes. So, my plan here is for them to... Are they going to double protect? I'm planning on them protecting. Because we're going to go with the biggest glide. And we're actually going to expect them to protect the first turn. And then we're just going to, like, one-shot them next turn. So, we're going to decorate. So, if they even if they eat this, we just do it again. Um, and hopefully, we, Valk doesn't just come in and just end our life. Protect Zern. Cool. That As long as we're not losing our Rilla this turn, I think we're in a good spot. Because we're going to be plus two here. Yeah, Heat Wave, don't kill me. Yep, cool. Cool beans. That's what I needed. The, a good player here would definitely switch out their... Uh, it would definitely switch out their Zern here. Because I think they're dead if you just eat this. Yep. Let's see if they're switching out. It looks like they are not... They Rage Powder. Bro, we're Rillaboom! Bro! <laughs> don't act like we didn't just steal this game. <laughs> Straight thievery in this game. Oh my goodness. I did it, though. Nice Rage Powder. Oh, they just scooped. Stole it. Stole that game. But I talked about it. Like, if we go into the replay, like, I said in the team preview, I was like, I'm gonna try this. Uh, I knew they were gonna protect first turn, so I knew I'd get a free decorate off. It wasn't like I was trying to decorate into my first Grassy Glide. I knew they were gonna protect. And even if they didn't, like, I would have been a two shot, right? So it's gonna be a really, really good play. This person had all the tools. They could have switched in the Insin. They could have switched in Amoonga, switched in literally anything else. They just didn't respect the Rilla. They didn't respect our authority. And, uh,. Yo, they got big dumpstered. We didn't even really use the, the Kirin Black here, but like, oh, that was super rewarding to see. Lunala. How do I deal with a Lunala? Like, those two should be pretty good at dealing with Lunala, I would say. I'm gonna bring the Drago still. And I do think that, like, Alcremi can be really good. I don't want to bring, like, Talonflame and, uh, what, Talonflame and Rilla, just because, like, Serena really turns off uh town flame being able to go for like brave birds and town flame also super super weak to things like staka so i think these might be the right play i wonder how much damage like staka taka takes from like a plus two what is that a plus two dragon smog if ever has to eat it yeah we'll see cool team though good fake out support uh wide guard redirection multiple forms of speed control multiple forms of terrain control very very solid team I almost want to say, like, Unala is, like, the weirdest Pokemon on that team. But I am respecting it. I think Stock Attack is a, a, such a cool Mon right now. Let's start the timer. Let's speed this thing up just a little bit. All right, here we go. In Sin. So they're like, yes, I got an Intimidate. All right. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, never heard of it. What's that? Ice Beam Ds. Are they going to, like, high jump kick me? I'll be so sad. I wouldn't be surprised if they hit the Lucky here. And I could Volt Switch out, assuming they uh, hit the Kirim. But, like, I don't know if they're getting the Kirim. I just want to Ice Beam the Serena. I would just like to Ice Beam the Serena. 
You know, this format is so much better too. Cause like I could just Dynamax this Kyurem, but like I can't because there's no Dynamax, but this is still good. They fake out that slot, switch out, mitigate that damage. That's sick. That's the right play, I would say. Decorate, make sure we're clicking decorate. So decorate there, it's earth power time. Let me get this sin off the board. Let's see, decorate. Let's pop it off. Oh, one shot though. I don't care if you moon blast me. Oh, we got a special attack drop. Yo, never lucky me. Never lucky, that's a plus one. That's specs, uh, that's a specs Feeny by the way. Uh, it wouldn't be doing this much damage, guys. Remember, it, I mean, it might not be, it, I still think it is specs, but it shouldn't be doing that much damage. Switch out for stock. No, they didn't bring the Lunala. Cool. It's resisted damage, but like, bro, look at the damage. Look at the damage. I can actually just ignore that thing. Right? Because we have a Lucky just to one-shot it, right? Or actually, sorry. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to decorate again. I wonder how much damage the Earth Power does. I, I don't know if I care if they set up Trick Room. Protect. Ah. See, I thought I thought about going to the Feeny. I do think that Feeny is like big specs though. Let's see. I want to switch out the Alcremi so Alcremi can use Mystical Fire. Yeah, because it's it's still slower than the Lucky, so it's not like a reason to stay in. Oh, it's not Specs! It's just full special attack? This is so nutty. This is like the worst game I've ever played in my life. Alright. So there's not really a reason to Dragon Energy. I will Draco Meteor that slot, though, and uh, just go for a Thunderbolt here. What a weird game! I have no clue what that Feeny's rocking right now, but it has to be full, some sort of weird full special attack Feeny, because our, our cure was so thick. So thick. Yeah, we knew that was going down. I'm actually kind of excited because we're probably going to get to use the laser focus. Like, I'm not going to, like, this is going to be sick. Laser focus into a Draco on that slot next turn is going to be sick. Is there a reason to protect? I actually don't think there's a reason. Like, there's a, I'll, I'll protect here, right? Because the Feeny's going to protect. So we'll laser focus because it doesn't matter and just protect for one turn. Because, like, what is this Feeny going to do? Yep, there's a the protect. He's trying to hit our Lucky. Laser focus. Yo! <laughs> Remember, there's a Misty Train, so this is not doing as much. But this will make the special attack drops that we have, like, not come into play. Oh, this is so awesome. Laser focus your face, Chief. T-Bolt! Let's do this! I want to see how much damage this does. I don't know. I think the Serena might be some sort of choice. Or, not choice. Uh, Assault Vested set. Just because they've switched it every time it's been pinned. And remember, Misty Train does cut the effectiveness of dragon moves. So this isn't going to, like, one-shot the Serena. But it'd be really cool if it did. It'd be really, really cool. Laser focus, new meta. Show it to me. Yo, they're timing out. They're like, what is this? Top Feeny goes, gets a double, never lucky. Draco! That's a lot of damage. All right. You just hit a power whip. A little bit never lucky. Good thing we got that sash. You are big damage right now. Laser focus again. Are you going for the triple, buddy? Do you have the triple protect to win the game? Triple protect to win the game. You go for it. Yeah, go for it. That's a. Hey, I say go for it at that point, you know? I get another laser focus though. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna do it again. Yo, you wanna see me do it again? And again? And again. Double laser focus pog. There's no reason to do anything else. Drake! Oh! <laughs> Yo, I love that. <laughs> that is so freaking cool, man. That is that's actually super, super awesome. Love to see. Okay, it. Groudon. This looks like a really, really fun matchup. I think Groudon's gonna be fun for Kyurem. I think this is gonna be awesome. We have Rillaboom, we have Drago, we have all the cool things to be able to do with it. There is a Feeny, so we should I don't know if I want Lucky. I think Rilla's gonna be great here. Let's see. They can trick room, I guess. I think I'm gonna go with Kyurem Alcremi, because they don't have any fake-out users. So, like, I can just be a big bully here. Then we know we want Rilla. I kind of want the Drago. Like, I'm not going to lie. I kind of do want it. I think we should bring the Town Flame to make sure things like Blaziken and Venusaur don't get too out of control. Um, 
while also providing like you know tailwind just in case they are rocking like really really fast ground on or something cool this actually does work for me are you gonna go protect protect trick room is that what you're about right now do i care switch into d okay okay hey go for it chief decorate that's a plus two big damage freeze it never lucky so there's the trick room i actually think we're almost okay here like i'm not seeing a situation where like i'm majorly threatened by this board at all hey go for it that's all you mystical fire in the sun don't even care let's go all right and i think that indie we can take that thing out whenever we feel like it we're gonna switch in real this turn to give us uh some pressure because we're gonna be able to get a ko on somebody this turn and have fake out pressure ow yeah there's expanding force c they targeted the right slot too but uh they didn't have the um the terrain that turn cool yeah, now we got some terrain. We have fake outs on their Groudon. We can take out their entity whenever we feel like it. And then we just have to wait out one more turn of Trick Room. Oh, I actually like this. Fake out uh, Ice Beam in that slot for sure. Protect, good play. Hey, good play. The thing is, though, we do underspeed them. So, Ally Switch. Bro, <laughs> what? You just spotted your entity. Prot protect Ally Switch? Bro, what is that? <laughs> Yo, my guy. I don't know about that one, actually. I don't know about that one. I outs I underspeed this Venusaur hard. That's a lot of damage there. Definitely within range. Oh, doesn't even get the kill with the P-Blades. Are you sashed? Yo, you're not sashed. We just won. We just da 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 dumpstered them. This Kurem is so freaking fed right now. And they scooped. They scooped. The power of Kurem compels you. Like, oh man, I love this. This is like the perfect example of how I want this team to go. And do I think this team can make a push rank one? No. But I do think that, like, when you just mind crush your opponents off of, like, this crazy decorate special Kurem, I think it's so freaking cool. And, and it just it just feels good. It just feels good. Yeah, we don't have a ton of fake out users. We don't have Redirection. We don't have Wygar. We're not using Landorus or any of the busted mons, really. And we do have a Regilecki, I guess, and a Rilla, but... For the most part, though, we're not using Sim, we're not using Urshifu's, we're trying our best to win with things that are a little bit, you know, more unconventional. And that's the whole point of this series, guys. Thank you so much for watching so far. If you guys want to spin the wheel for yourself, think about checking out our Discord, it's completely free. And uh, you guys can spin the wheel for yourself. Use it as a uh, Kickstarter to see what kind of Pokemon you want to build around. It's a lot of fun spinning this thing. And uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great have a great rest of your day. Look at me messing up the words in the last sentence of the freaking video. Have a good one, everybody. Peace out.